Hello everyone! In this video, we will tell you how to create algorithms on the BATLAB website, what functionality we have, and what you can use in the selection criteria. So let's get started. In the upper right corner, we have a filter button. Click on it. Since we haven't created filters yet, the list is empty. As soon as we create a new filter, it will appear here. So click Create New Filter. In front of us, we see the window where we will create our own algorithm. In the upper right corner, we have three buttons. The first button is Save. After you have specified all the conditions, we will need to save them. The second button is Reset. If you need to delete everything and return to the original view, then you will reset everything with this button. The third button is Apply. After you have prescribed all the selection conditions, by clicking this button, only those matches that currently fit your conditions will appear on the BATLAB website. But this button does not save what you have chosen, but only displays it on the site. If you go back to creating the filter again, then you will have to specify everything again. This button displays your conditions one time without saving to the page with live matches. Below, we have the leaks module. In this module, we select the leaks that we want to take part or not take part in the selection. At the top of the leaks module, we have made groupings to make it easier to work with them. For example, if you uncheck the cups, we will immediately disable all cups. Same with women. By unchecking women's football, we will disable all women's leagues, and so on. For example, you don't want signals from friendly and women's leagues to come to you. Then you just uncheck friendly matches and women's football. Below, in the league module, is a complete list of all the championships that exist. If you need to disable certain leagues, then you simply uncheck the box next to the league that should not take part in your algorithm, or vice versa, enable. There are two buttons in the league header, Select All and Clear. The Select All button selects all the leaks completely, and the Clear button, on the contrary, disables all of them completely. The next is Main module. In this module, we choose which of the teams should win. The one there is at home, or the one there is on a visit, or we need to have a draw. In this module, we can choose the first half, the second half, or a half time. If you have a clear time interval for selection, then in the minute of the match, you specify the time interval from which to which minute you need signals. In the score of the match field, you can select the score that suits you for the algorithm. For example, you want the score 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 0, and 0, 2 to take part in the selection. By ticking the boxes on these scores, only those matches that have such a score will take part in the selection. You can also specify what score should have been at the halftime. Similarly to the match score, you choose the scores that you need. If you don't need a score at halftime, then you just check nothing. The next module is Favorite. If a favorite is involved in your strategy, then you need to activate this module by enabling it in the upper left part. As soon as you turn it on, it will light up. We choose the favorite with the initial odds. For example, I want the favorite to be determined from 1.1 to 1.3. Specify these values and also determine where the favorite is playing, at home or in a visit. You can also choose doesn't matter, and thus you will have access to all the matches with the participation of the favorite with the O2 set, and it doesn't matter where he plays, at home or in visit. And we can also choose winning, losing, or tie. If you activate a favorite, then you can see that in all fields with attacks, shots, corners, and so on, the favorite field becomes active, and you can make a choice directly with the participation of the favorite, but this is optional. If you have activated a favorite, but you will not make a choice in the favorite field in the statistics blocks, then this will not affect the selection of matches in your strategy. You can also continue to select the fields you need without selecting the favorites fields. For example, you have activated a favorite that is determined by odds of 1.1 to 1.3, and you want to choose dangerous attacks, any, over one and a half times. And now you will have all the matches where the favorite is playing, but any of the teams will have dangerous attacks over one and a half times. For example, an outsider. This often happens, especially when the bookmaker made a mistake and identified the wrong team as the favorite. And you can catch a match where the outsider attacks more than the favorite originally determined by the bookmaker. The next module is Goals and Corners. 
In the goal scored field, we select how many goals have been scored in a certain period of time. For example, we need no one goal scored in the last 15 minutes. Then we specify zero goals and choose 15 minutes. The same thing is similar with the corners served field. For example, we need three corners to be served in the last five minutes. Then we specify the number three and select five minutes. Also in this module, we can choose how many goals are scored in total. For example, we specify the number three, which means that those matches in which exactly three goals are scored are suitable for you. No more, no less. The situation is similar with corners. By selecting the number 8, those matches in which exactly 8 corners are served will be selected. In the difference in goals field, we indicate what the gap should be between the teams. For example, greater or equal to 2. We indicate that the difference should be at least 2 goals. And thus you will filter out matches in which the score is, for example, 3-0 or 4-1 or 2-0. And if we choose less or equal to 2 goals, then you will see matches where the difference in score be one goal or even a draw. The next module is initial coefficients. In this module, we determine which initial coefficients the teams should have. For example, by specifying from 1.5 to 2 in W1, those teams whose initial coefficient from the victory of the first was from 1.5 to 2 will take part in our algorithm. Similarly with a W2 and a draw. Also in this module, you can specify the current coefficients, the win first and win second coefficients, or a draw, which should be at the time of the signal. The next module is the initial total. In this module, we specify total and what the initial coefficient should be for it. For example, we want the initial total over 2.5 to be in the range from 2 and 2.5. And then all matches where the initial total over 2.5 was less than 2 or greater 2.5 will not take part in the selection. The next module is current total. In this module, similar to the initial total, we define only total at the time of the signal. For example, at the time of the signal, we need a total under 3 to be in the range from 1.5 to 1 and 8. Specify these values, and then only those matches where the current total under 3 will be in the range from 1.5 to 1.8 will get into the selection. The next module is attacks. In this module, we select everything that is related only to attacks. Team 1 greater, greater or equal, equal, or less, and less or equal to the second team, in or on time. You can choose here how much greater or less there will be, and so the first team will have in relation to the second. For example, we choose the team 1, 1.2 times more than team 2. Team 1 should have 1.2 times more attacks. If it doesn't matter to us which team, then select the any field. In this field, we indicate that one team must have greater, less, in or on times attacks than the other team. Also in this field, we can choose what is the minimum number of attacks each team can have, or any. In the All From field, we indicate a total number of attacks from both teams. If you have previously chosen a favorite, then the field below with the conditions for attacks for the favorite is active. If not, then it doesn't work. The following modules are dangerous attacks, shots on targets, shots off targets, corners, percentage of ball possession, yellow cards, and red cards. In this module, everything is like the attacks module, so you can easily figure it out. By the way, if you have selected something in the module and want to clear it, then a cross appears on each module in the upper right corner. By clicking on it, you can reset all the selected parameters if you no longer need them or you want to reconfigure the fields. So having selected all the conditions, we go up the page and click on Save. We see a window with the name of the filter where we have to name our algorithm. This name will be in very Telegram signal. You can also put a link to your main Telegram channel or website instead of the name. And so on, and when signals come to your Telegram channel, then instead of the name of the algorithm, there will be a clickable link. This can be used as an advertisement, for example, right like this, our site, and a link to it. And in each signal, there will be a link to your website. There is a filter description below. Here you can specify or describe your filter. It will be as a reminder to you. By selecting a name, specifying a description, if you need it, we save the filter. And now by clicking on the Filter button, we see the filter we created. In order to see which matches currently fit the created algorithm, we simply mock the filter and within a few seconds, all the matches that fit your algorithm will be displayed on the BadLab website. 
It was a brief instruction on how to create strategies, invent new ones, or test existing ones on the Internet. With the help of our constructor, you can simply track the matches you need that are right for your strategies. In the next video, we will tell you how to send forecasts to your Telegram channel or to different channels using your created filter. Thanks for watching. Good luck to everyone.